Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may preach with humility and preach from the heart, not just with the lips, and that people will listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are in this moment, you are there. And the risen Lord, the risen Lord is there with you. The Lord is with us always and in all ways. And today, second Sunday of Easter, surprise! Usually po, once a year lang po ako nagmimisa dito sa main church. Beautiful church. Though empty, the Lord is here. But surprise, I was asked to say another Mass here. In the shrine, not below, in the crypt. God is a God of surprises. Please don't forget that, mga kapatid. Just when you think, wala na. I doubt, wala na mga here, surprise. Our God is a God of surprises. Just when you think, ay, makumatagal pa ito, hindi na natin alam nang yaya, hey, 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 there is a God. Please don't forget that. Don't be so focused in your own understanding, in the forecast of human science and human bickerings. No. Help us, Lord, to lean not on our own understanding. Surprise! Thomas, the doubting Thomas, he was the scientist. He, he wanted to make sure, he wanted the proof. Good. But here you see, God is above science. He can supersede science. Miracles happen. Yes, miracles happen if you believe. You know, brothers and sisters, I remember when we were children, anytime we have neighbors whose relatives arrived from Metro Manila, wow, that was a big event for us. We were so happy to see them. Wow, mga bago mga gamit nila, papakita nila yung... <laughs> At kung minsan naambunan pa kami, o oh, may pabiskwit, may konting pakain. So, it was a joy to see these people from Metro Manila then. But now, somebody said, ngayon, pag may mga dumarating na mga taga Metro Manila sa probinsya, Naku, wala nang lumalapit na mga tao. They go away. Baka kasi may dalang virus na. Times change. Tanong ko ngayon, kapatid. What do you carry? In your heart, in your life, what are you spreading? Beautiful what the Lord spread on that appearance to the apostles. He brought them peace. They were scared of the Jews. They were afraid. Their doors were locked. And you know, one thing they were so afraid, to meet Jesus. And why were they so afraid? Because they all abandoned Him. They were so guilty and ashamed. What will Jesus say? They all confess. Mali. They gave up on him. What did Jesus say? He just said to them, Peace be with you. Just like that. It means being all is forgiven. And please don't forget what Jesus said next. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Hey, take note. He forgives them without them even asking for forgiveness. And he tells them, hey, the mission goes on. 
kasama ko pa rin kayo. We still have a mission. That's mercy. That's divine mercy for you and for me. Tayo, <laughs> siguro marami ka pa. Ikaw kasi Peter, ikaw kasi kayo. Nagalit pa ng nagalit. Okay, ah, wala na kayo. Wala na kayo, hindi na kayo No, nothing of that sort. How wonderful this assuring presence of the Lord. And wherever you are now, you are right now, kapatid. Whatever you're going through. Some of you are very sick now. Maybe you're all alone in the ICU or wherever. Maybe you're alone in your apartment. Maybe somebody's sick. Somebody, maybe you have lost your job. Wala nang pera. Listen. Please listen to the reason Lord tell you now. Peace be with you. I am here. I love you. That's enough. Please listen to the Lord. Please let this be your mantra. As you go through life, as you go through difficulties, let that come back to you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Mga kapatid, please, let's bring peace also to people. What kind of presence do you bring? Are you an angry presence? Are you a shouting presence? Are you a... What? Are you a proud presence? Bright presence? All-knowing? All-holy presence? That's not what people need. May we bring the peace of the risen Lord. Assurance. All is well. All is forgiven. I am with you. Sana ganon. Sana all. And today especially, the forgiveness of the Lord. I look into my life, I know if ever I'll make it to heaven, it's not because of divine justice or merit. No. It's because of mercy. Awa ng Diyos. And I hold on to the mercy of God. Mga kapatid, some of you, I cannot blame you. Marami po nawawala na ng pag-asa. There's so much depression going on now. Please, let's watch each other and lift up each other. One of the hardest, uh, well, response I had to make was to a person who was so hurt already by God. Sabi niya, I've been good, Father. I've done everything. Bakit nagkaganito ako? I lost my job. Wala, wala na. Wala nang pag-asa. Wala nang Diyos. I've been good to God. I tried to, but you know, I, I knew he was really angry. I prayed, Lord, what do I tell somebody? na talagang walang-wala na wala na po talaga ng tiwala sa inyo. And when I prayed, you know, the words came to me. Pari Jerry, sabihin mo na lang, sabi ni Lord, sorry sa kanya. Ha? So I told him, Bro, Inihingi ko lang sa'yo, please forgive God. That's all. What more can I say? If there are some of you who are really hurt so much already by the Lord, I just, halos murahin mo na siya. Please, forgive God. And I hope you find your way back to His heart. Yun lang po. And please remember this. Ang dami kasing nangyayari. But there's a big picture, please. We're all, you know, for the solution, the vaccines and all that. Fine, okay po yan. But hey, the big picture is God is working. God is purifying all of us. He is. If you experience COVID, or you have a relative or a loved one going through COVID, that's a great purification. 
a lot of thoughts come. You realize many things. You realize you, the excess luggage you don't need. You realize the lessons. So through it all, please don't forget the big picture. There is a God. And this God is a God of surprises. Alam po nyo, mga kapatid, yes, please don't forget we are being cleansed. Please don't forget to David against the Goliath. Remember? The war against the Philistines. They were ready with their armies, everything. And there was one unknown, the most unlikely to do the job, to kill that giant, David. What am I saying here? There is something for us who don't believe. Ang hirap po kasi, the unbelieving. Please pray. Marami kasi sa atin, oh, wala yan. And we have become critical. Oh, mabait ba yan? Wala yan. Kunwari lang yan. You become cynical. You end up unbelieving. Like Thomas. Please don't stay in that. There's some people whose whole life is about uh, cynical, being critical, and unbelieving. You don't even believe in, in the goodness of people, in the goodness of God, even in their own goodness. Please ask the Holy Spirit, help me to believe. This time, i like us all to learn to believe in love. I, I believe so much in love. You know, Mama had a way of telling me, noon, Jerry, it's okay. And it's okay. And there were times when Mama, you think she would stop loving me, kahit nagtampo ako, she would go to me, and, Jerry, yeah, come on, okay na, okay na. She never gave up. This is what we should all start doing to God. Don't give up on love. Don't give up on love other people. Helping other people. It's not the time for cynicism. It's not the time for being critical and to be unbelieving. Lord, let this be our prayer, mga kapatid. Jesus, I trust in you. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. And there's something tells that we should pray, all of us. Please remember this. Two. Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of sound mind. Keep that in mind, that our God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. This is what we bring with us. Fear is useless. What is needed is trust. Please be strong. Please hold on to the Lord and to our Blessed Mother, especially this time. And as I was talking about David, who knows? We're all lined up with all these vaccines, whatever, and ito lang ang pag-asa. Something can happen. I mean, if God has a plan, it will happen. Not according to our own plan, according to our own time and understanding. Please give room for God. Don't shut Him out. Maybe this is what we all should say, Okay, Lord, I'll keep trusting and believing. Because you are my God. Because you are my Lord. Jesus, I trust in you. And Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Surprise! I still believe in surprises. Surprises, Lord. When 
we're getting bored. We're getting impatient. Surprise us, Lord, when the night is long. The night of COVID-19 is long, and the might of COVID-19 is strong. Hey, don't forget, the night of COVID-19 can vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of Grace. And the might of COVID-19 is nothing compared to the might of our God. Jesus is stronger than the virus. Let our faith lift us up, sisters and brothers. That's what Easter is all about. Yes, Lord. Remember, beautiful. The first greeting of the Lord was, Peace be with you. And the last word in today's gospel was what Thomas said, My Lord and my God. I hope we go beyond our fears. We go beyond our anxieties and end up and say, my Lord and my God. Chill. Chillax. Yeah, maybe that's what the Lord is telling you. Please, go beyond your unbelief. You're being cynical. You're being critical. Let's all pray for that grace. Lord, I believe. Please help my unbelief to believe and to keep on believing that you love us. Stay with us, Lord. Please, Lord, stay with us. Amen.